Hi everyone, I'm Michael Harrison from Bermad Water Technologies. We're here in Tasmania today to take you through one of our recent projects, the iPearl metering rollout for Tas Water. This project is Australia's largest rollout of digital metering technology, and it's happening in one of the country's most diverse geographical regions. My name's Robert Cameron and I've worked for Tas Water. I've been involved with Tas Water now uh, since 2011. I started off doing metres uh, to roll out the 15,000 for, for Cradle Mountain Water. We became Tas Water a few years later, which then became the job of rolling out metres all across Tasmania as the program manager. So we got GHD to come in as an independent consultant and to do a review of our current uh, metre fleet and where we should go to into the future and then present a case to the board. In our report from GHD, it came back with um, with our mechanical metres, which was there was losses. One of the, two of those losses are based on your low uh, flows that don't get picked up. And the other one is the uh, non-registration of water when the metre starts to go slow over age. So those two add together, they are a loss. Uh, our system shows we produce an, a large amount of water that we don't get billed for. And then from there, we went out to uh, do an RFI Quest for information out to the market, see what meters were available. From that, we put together a business case to our board, which tended to move what direction we should go. That led us to a tender process. And for the tender process, we looked at what the market had for meters, and then we made a decision to move to the new, what we call second generation meters. And we went with the census IPL meter supplied by Burmad. And the board came back with uh, three key points we had to do. One was to uh, go out and get by 400 metres and do a trial close to our current office, which was in Forth, which we did. That proved to be quite successful. We had a lot of people come along and have a look at that and were impressed by the speed we could read. They came back then as part two. They wanted to do a whole town, so we basically bought 4,000 metres. We did a town called Port Surreal Hawley, installed uh, the 4,000 metres in that area and then did the drive-by trials there. And the third one they came back to was they wanted to be able to make sure that we could read the, any new meter we put in with our old meter. They could integrate in together. And after the tender process, the IPL stacked up to be the meter that Tasmania wanted to go with. We started a process of rolling out 45,000 meters and our board gave us direction to replace the metres that were too, older than 2011. Really, you know, you look at the old mechanical metres, they wear over time, uh, then they become slower. We're a static metre, they're the same all the way through, they're linear. We wanted a metre that would pick up those low flows, uh, had a good battery life, and had a logging function, all those things that we, we didn't have with the old metres. The metres were digital, good display, they were the same length, they had, again, they had to fit in the same spot, which made it we could swap them over in most cases, and we could have a fixed area network system set up for looking to the future. The reading software can pick up the meter reads in any order, so sequencing is not important. Other benefits would be the radio in the iPearl uses the license-free band. There's no ongoing cost with the radio and you're also not relying on any other third parties for your infrastructure of the radio. We're finding that the meter is very reliable. The pits fill with water all the time, so therefore they, uh, they work out they're constantly underwater. We've got a lot of uh, areas that's subject to a lot of frost. We've got um, some very dry areas. You know, the box gets quite warm. We find that we haven't had a lot of trouble with them um, not giving us a signal in those environments. We actually got a four time improvement on the current AMR reads. I think they were then four times better than reading it through a conventional uh, manual read. So you, you, know, you've, you multiply it through, it's, it's quite efficient to go from a manual read to the IPL read. One example is uh, Circular Head, which is the far northwest of Tasmania. That's got 2,200 odd metres there. They were all replaced. That was a job when four metre reads to go down there, spend that five days. Now they're down there for a bit over a day, read all the metres, they're finished. Two go, and it's only two people go down. If you have a, just a pure iPel route, reading iPel metres with this iPel software, brilliant. iPel water meter has an inbuilt data logger. 
I think it's a, a month worth of data at 15 minute intervals. To read the data logger, you don't even need to go into the customer's premises. You can just be outside. Data logging has proved very successful. Uh, we've been able to do that a lot where people have, we would just say, um, argued their usage of the water, <laughs> maybe disputed it. So we've gone out there and be able to do a log and uh, prove that you use the water on these times. In most cases, have been able to prove that, oh yeah, we did use that water and um, put, it to, put it to rest. We've just finished on 45,000 uh, census metres. I can't see any reason why Tas is going to change. They've got 45,000 in the ground and uh, I think we'll be looking to do more in the future. Thank you to Taswater and Rob Cameron for the help in making this video. If you'd like any more product information, please subscribe to our Burmad YouTube channel or visit us at burmad.com.au. Thank you very much for watching.